IRS chief said, I didn't retaliate against Hunter Biden probe whistleblowers. It was the DOJ. So he threw the DOJ under the bus, which we kind of knew that it was the DOJ behind this from the get-go. Um, corrupt, corrupt organization. DOJ, FBI, all of them got to be gone. They got to be disbanded. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store where I have I Will Not Comply t-shirts. And check out jjthepsychotherapist.com as well uh, for the latest in news. All right, let's talk about this, this crazy news here. In response to the whistleblowers who allege that the IRS gave preferential treatment to first son Hunter Biden being abruptly taken off the case last week in what appeared to be an obvious retaliatory move, Internal Revenue Service Commissioner Daniel Weirfel, uh, Weirfel said that it wasn't his call. Instead, it was the Department of Justice. No surprise there. Like I said, I alluded to this already um, last week. But considering we're living under probably the most politicized DOJ in our history, one that routinely applies two different standards depending on which side of the political aisle someone stands on. In a letter to the House Ways and Means Committee dated May 17th and obtained by Fox News, the commissioner explains what went down. Quote, I want to state unequivocally that I have not intervened and will not intervene in any way that would impact the status of any whistleblower, Werfel said. He goes on to say the IRS whistleblower you reference alleges that the change in their work assignment came at the direction of the Department of Justice uh, as a general matter and not in reference to any specific case. I believe it is important to emphasize that in any matter, uh, uh, any matter involving federal judicial proceedings, the IRS follows the direction of the Justice Department, which I didn't know. I didn't know that. I didn't know the IRS falls under the, D the, uh, Depart the Justice Department. But I love the phrase change in work assignment. <laughs> we know that means the whistleblower was punished and given some junk job like mopping the closets. Werfel proceeded to use the tactic that it seem all, seems all agency heads who appear before Congress use, namely cite the, de the desperate need for secrecy. Quote, when I first learned of the allegations and retaliation reference in your letter and in the media reports on May 16, 2023, I contacted the Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration, that's uh, T-I-G-T-A or TIGTA. In light of laws and policies designed to protect the integrity of pending proceedings, I'm unable to provide details on this matter, Werfel wrote. Again, they, they always use that. Um, but as Red State's Bunchy reported last week, a whistleblower claimed that the entire IRS team working on the Hunter Biden probe was removed from the case. The whistleblower's attorney formally alleged that the move was, quote, quote clearly retaliatory uh, in a letter to Congress soon after. The apparent punishment is in stark reality to what Werfel promised in the past. Um, in, in an April 27th appearance before the committee, the commissioner said, quote, I can say without any hesitation that there will be no retaliation for anyone making any allegation or a call to a whistleblower hotline. That didn't age well. That turned out to be a, a flat out lie. Um, and in April, an IRS watchdog turned whistleblower alleged that uh, the, that federal prosecutors engaged in preferential treatment. And, poli and politics in their treatment of President Joe Biden's son Hunter and even tried to block criminal tax charges against him. On Monday, a second whistleblower was revealed who worked under the original informant and who backed his claims. He was immediately threatened with prosecution from IRS, from IRS brass. Meanwhile, there are multiple whistleblowers over at the FBI alleging corruption within its ranks. Uh, it's apparent that Attorney General Merrick Garland and the DOJ aren't even bothering to pretend anymore that their reason 
uh, their raising the tear is uh, pursue is to pursue equal justice for all. Uh, they, the very people in charge of upholding upholding the law, think they're above the law, and they're going to continue to do so because nothing is happening to them. No one's going to get in trouble for it. Again, no one is getting going to get fired. The whistleblowers are going to the ones that's gonna, that's that's getting fired and 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 that's uh, getting thrown under the bus. They're the ones that's getting treated like crap. Not the actual corrupt people that's that's breaking these breaking these laws and breaking these rules and doing all these things to protect Hunter Biden. Um, it's crazy that this is happening and it's blatant and then they can continue to do it because nothing is going to happen from this. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below, like, share, subscribe, and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest of news. Until next time, peace.